it's been a while since I brought these boys. The Ice Boys. Versus Harrison's Beast. He's got a Saigro coming into my camp. Here on the Temple of Sotek. Me versus Harrison. Domination. And this, I think, is going to be quite the show for everyone. So don't go anywhere. It's going to get good. We're going wide. Lots of spears, lots of javelins, some trolls. Wolfric on his mammoth. I know what you're thinking. Why Wolfric on the mammoth? Well, I think the H... Wolfric in this build is a Carnifex. He's going to absorb a lot of the arrows, a lot of the attention, and just tank. And... Trader Kin won't exactly kill him. So if I want to get him out, he has the weight to get out. So this was not just some... Oh, let me just throw this together. This was a thought-out build. So yeah. But so was Teamer. Er, Teamer. <laughs> so was Harrison's. Man, I'm so used to fighting Teamer. <laughs> Harrison, you cheeky bastard. He's got his Ungors, he's got his Raiders, he's got his Sangors, and here come the Sigors with their boulders coming in, and that is insanely good damage there. 2,000, I'll take that any day. I was hoping the tree line would block more of it, it turns out it didn't do shit. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> and once I notice where everything is, here comes the charges from the Mammoth. Oh my goodness, my poor spears, my poor marauders. Harrison, you sick, sick man, leave him alone, leave him alone. We're going to try to lower down these boys, try to get into whatever backline we can with Wolfric. Here come the trolls, baby, troll them up. Perfect unit to go dealing with these Angors. Speaking of dealing with Angors, come on, Wolfric, get in there. Take that damage and move. I'm already messing up, not moving my entire rest of my army to back up those trolls. Well, Wolf Wolfric gets bombarded, and he's got great Minotaurs coming his way. The boat comes in, does pretty solid damage, but now I need to get Wolfric out so he can draw those Minotaurs into those Javelin's line of fire. Those are hunters, please. No, he doesn't fall for it. Good. And we're going to start moving him up. Move him up, move him up, move him up. On the side, I send Marauder Champions. I really like sending a highly durable elite unit to a side objective on a map like this where you have points. Like, when you have a lay map at one point on the side, like Black Ark or here on Temple of Sotek, and just send it. Because usually what your opponent's going to do is have a weak unit or something with stock, and you have that high infantry or high elite unit that's going to take on just about anything. They can send in cheap cab, dogs, whatever, and they're probably going to lose to him. And since there's no spells that like Pit of Shades or anything, or anything that can delete high infantry units right now, that should be fine. Wolfric's building up his physical resistance. There's not too much mag magic attacks besides the Zangor, so we don't have to worry too much. And the champions have made way. We're going to support them with some Beast of Ashnog to take on these Razor Gore Herd, which will be a problem, but not for the Beast. And I think the mistake I'm making so far is, yeah, not having my rest of my army supporting earlier on and having Wolfric not go for the raiders. Wolfric really should be just murdering those raiders right now. I bring in a shaman, a fire shaman, for the obvious reason. We're going to burn some raiders. Ooh. And I don't know how I feel about the Cygors so far. If they would have been, like, Centigors or anything, I think this would have been a lot worse. For me, these men are just so damn good. They trade up so effectively. And yeah, it's kind of like these men have pretty much replaced. I want to say, I want to say they replaced Greenskins in the higher tiers right now. Because Greenskins, just with all the nerfs and all the buffs, these men have been getting. These men trade so efficiently for how much they cost. Like Razor Gore Herd or what, 600, 7, 650? Centigore 700, great weapons, or Zangors, or, or no, Centigores is each, or just regular Centigores, or what? So you got 1050, 700, great boat right there. And yeah, we could just absolutely get crumped by how efficient these units are, and how cheap they are. 
And I, I mean, look at that. My value is so much worse, and I've killed so much more. But they're just so damn cheap. So damn cheap. Uh, that trader kit was kidding. Oh, right. And a lot of their units have AP. I mean, Norska's kind of in that same boat where they're this low-armored faction. I mean, they do have armored options, but so do the Beastmen. But they just don't have the tools. And hopefully with their DLC, which we know they're going to get, thanks to all those uh, data mining leaks, it's going to turn that around. Hopefully Beastmen get put in their place. I mean, I like playing Beastmen. I like Chaos. But it feels like Beastmen are just... Uh, they're just too efficient. Too damn efficient. It's hard to keep up with them with a lot of other factions. I mean, Harrison brought two cyborgs. I mean, come on. And I'm barely holding in here. Wolfric's been taking nothing but a beating. Oh, I'm so glad I brought them in. It's definitely the right choice. I'm running out of steam, though. I am threatening... No, I do have a triple cap on them right now. My boys are coming back. These beasts are coming in. Get those Razor Gore heard! Yes, beast attach here. They will chew through. Chew them. Chew them out. They're rage perfect. They ain't going nowhere. And they're trying to <laughs> kill the fleeing units. There you go. Now they went off. Skin Wolf's coming in. Something I really need right now to deal with a lot of these large units. Wolfric is just, yep, doing what Wolfric does best. Being annoying. I should be trying to deal with these Zangors right now. Oh, those Minotaurs hurt, even on the charge. Speaking of charge, here comes Wolfric in the back of those Ungors. Spear boys. We're gonna have our own spears trying to beat up these Minotaurs. Yeah, how do you like that, Harrison? You don't like it when you have spears running into your large priority targeted units. Oh, physical resist, melee attack, leadership. Good boy, Wolfric. Good boy, indeed. Yeah, Harrison, even with that, he still isn't giving up, and I don't blame him. He's up a 1,000 value, well, 1,700, almost 2,000. There's just not much I can do. Could have my wolves try to go around, bring back my marauders. Those champions have lasted as they should. I'm very impressed with them. Oh, and I'm not paying attention, so they are not going to the dark city. But it doesn't matter. The units that are trying to kill my wolves are actually uh, routing themselves. And we're going to go into those raiders and hold that triple cap. This triple cap is looking good. Even though we're down 2,000 value, we are up damn near 500 points. Or, well, we're up 400 right now. Soon to be 500, if we play this right. But it looks like he's gaining back his home objective. And here come the centivores, the absolute bane of my build. Wolfric is not looking too good. He's getting shot. He's getting chased. I overcommitted a lot of units instead of bringing them back to Wolfric, holding onto the point, and unsummoning Wolfric. Because now I'm going to pay the price. I got overconfident. I overreached it. Here come the centivores. And go down. Goes Wolfric. That's a problem. Such a problem that a lot of my units are starting to rout. That's bad. And here I was, so high and mighty. So, what's the plan now? Probably um, lose all my units because they are routing. And uh, a lot of them should just go back to the home objective. Do I do that? No. <laughs> I don't pay attention. <laughs> I just don't know. I haven't lost my lord like this in quite some time, actually. So I really don't uh, know what to do. But looking at this replay, I should be doing exactly as I said. Go back to the home objective, reform uh, my ranks so that way they're not... Their leadership isn't tanking as much. And I have such a lead. I probably could win this on one objective. I'm still getting a lot of points. It's going to take some time for him to gain those points back. And yeah... Yeah. Instead of just trying to kill as much as I can, yeah, just retaking my... Just reforming back on my home objective should have been the case. Here comes a good old trader kin. I don't know how good it is on just these type of units, but... I don't even know if he overcasted it. It looks like it was overcasted. 
Yeah, just keep running. Run away. He's up almost, yeah, 3,000 value. That's insane. That's how efficient they are. Jeez. And now they have five units. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. No. Go back to the home objective. Don't let him cap it. And here I go, doing the dumb thing, just chasing. Instead of just defending what I need. Look, I'm a corn player, okay? I don't defend. I don't defend. I kill Maim and I burn. It looks like Harrison will do the same to all my poor defenseless skin wolves. Harrison, why would you do that, you sick man? No, don't fight those spears. Go chase off those, those silly little centigores who want to come play. The beast of Tashnar just getting absolutely wrecked, but they take a good bite out of those centigores. Thank goodness. Brought back the Firecaster, which means I have plenty. Of he died earlier, for those who weren't paying attention, or probably didn't see him. He did die off screen, which is fine because that means he won't. Uh, that means I have a lot of winds of magic, and no infantry will have an easy time tapping this point since we have Burning Head on the menu. And that's it. We just gotta buy time. We gotta buy time. Harrison has to come to me. That's right. Come to me, bitch. I'm gonna give you a fight you're never gonna forget. And if he moves too many units off his home objective, I can go just grab him. I can just send in Marauder Horsemen, some dogs, whatever I need. Yeah, bring it on. We got plenty of boys. Yeah, keep doing your cycle charges. Come on. My Marauders will last. They won't last that long, but they will last long enough. As those skin wolves chase away those Angors. Get those Angors. Skin wolves, get them. Marauder Spearmen. Come on, we just need a nice, good catch. What else do I bring in here? Marauder Champions? Yeah, we're going to hold this point for sure. I mean, we're still losing units. It's not great. We did a nice little piece of uh, Traitorkin here, but he only got... Yeah, he's got the Skin Wolves, but we got a Burning Head coming in and might get a number of units. There go them. There go the Ungors. Here comes the Raiders getting absolutely cooked. Yeah, just stand still. Uh, not as much damage as I wanted to do, but, you know, beggars can't be choosing. Oh, no, those aren't Raiders. Those are Centigors with throwing axes, which are obnoxious and still good at charging and also taking points. Here come the Skid Wolves chasing off the rest of those Ungors. Not realizing those are champs, they will absolutely shred into whatever that's coming my way. And nothing's rear charger, so we should be fine. These Norsk and Ice Wolves are just getting absolutely crumped by just Centaurs alone. It just oh, it sucks. Absolutely sucks. All we really have are maybe Armored Skin Wolves to deal with these Centaurs. Because, man, it felt so bad sending in Skin Wolves and Norsk and Ice Wolves into Centaurs. Centaurs are just so damn cheap. And we still have these champions, though. Thank you, champions. And we're just going to keep shooting away these poor, poor boys. And we are actually pretty close. Harrison really needs a cap soon. Otherwise, I got this in the bag. Just, ooh. We're getting there. We're getting there. But here come the freaking minotaurs with great weapons. Trying to ruin my day. Stupid, sexy minotaurs. With their sexy giant axes. And we're kind of closing the distance on the... No, we're not. It's still 3,000. that nice burning head getting rid of those raiders, so the capture weight should still be in my favor. And the other spearmen also get toasted a bit. That's good. That's great. But there's still too many damn centigors. The centigors, I just don't have any good answers to. All we have are, yeah, armored skin wolves, and they're too expensive. Same with the minotaurs, because regular skin wolves just get crumped. Bringing in these Marauder Horsemen to hopefully maybe do a rear charge. And nope, they get caught by the Raiders and the other Centigors. And with that, I think that's going to be GG. We have nothing else here to cab. We got some Spearmen. Well, I guess Spearmen actually are pretty good against everything here. But uh, there's just not enough of them. Just not enough. The Minotaurs are too much. I should have been spamming Spears. Maybe throwing in a, a couple uh, Hunters. To just throw uh, their jabs in. And yeah, Gigi's Harrison. You got so lucky! Damn it! I had that game. I had it so hard! Uh, but it is what it is.
I'm happy with the game. I had fun. I had fun. Fun, fun, fun. Wolfric didn't pay for himself, but you know what? I appreciate what he did. Trolls were pretty, uh, dog garbage, so I should've just brought in skin wolves. Just as a way to defend from backline or cycle charges from centigors or minotaurs. Just as some sort of bodyguard unit for Wolfric. Brought in both armored skill wolves, and they did not do enough. Although the champs got brought in twice, they did pretty good for the first run, but... Looks like the second run is where they really paid for themselves. Same with the, uh... Shaman. Beast of Tashnir weren't too bad. Definitely regret bringing in the, uh... Norskin Ice Wolves. They felt pretty bad. Pretty bad indeed. Uh, I don't know. Do not know. Saigors, I see what T Harrison was trying to do. Just use them as a way to beat any Marauder Horsemen. Or er, Marauder Horsemen. Uh, Marauder Champions. Which makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Even though they didn't pay for themselves. Their terror, I think, actually makes them worth it. Especially at the end of that game there to make my Marauders just terrorize and rout earlier. Definitely helps. Well, folks, it's about that time. If you enjoyed, please like, sub, follow me here on YouTube. We're on the road to 1,000. Come see me on the stream, join the Discord, play some games, get some 1v1s, and be on the channel or have some fun, whichever you prefer. All right, with all that said, y'all have a good one. Peace, and goodbye for now.